Hello, my name is Chris Larson in the Commercial Training Group with Case IH. Today we want to talk about and instruct you on how to properly calibrate the Precision Disc 500T metering system. Calibration is extremely important to get the proper seating rates for each of the crop types out there. There are seven reasons why we would calibrate the metering system on the Precision Disc 500T disc drill. When the drill is brand new, we should calibrate it. Start of a season, of course. Anytime we change the crop type. Anytime the weight of that crop changes. When we change the metering rolls, changing the gear set from one to one or the three to one ratio or vice versa. And anytime we change a major hydraulic or metering component within the entire metering system. To calibrate the Precision Disc 500T metering system, you will need a container, a bag, or a pail to collect product across either two, three, or four locations across the drill. A scale that can measure in tenths of pounds, and a scale is available from your Case IH dealer, part number 474-86597. A flat screwdriver or 5 16 inch nut driver to remove and tighten the hose clamps. And of course, seed needs to be in the tank for metering. The disc drill will also need to be hooked to the tractor and functional through the display. Here are the steps to calibrate the Precision Disc 500T. First, on the display, choose the back button, the cal button, and you will come to the very first meter cal screen. This screen shows the current calibration number and if the calibration has been run before and when. In this case, we see that the calibration has not been run before and the calibration number is zero pounds per hundred revolutions. This is the factory setting. Thus, we must perform this calibration. We would press the wizard button on the right hand side of the screen to move to the next screen and the first step in our wizard. Step one of the wizard is checking that all the systems are, are properly running. First, make sure that the implement is not moving. The hydraulics should be engaged and the fan is running. The next step is priming. Prior to priming, open only the doors above the metering sections that seed will be caught from. All others can remain closed. So with a two section 500T disc drill, two doors may be opened on either side of the tank. On the four section drill, four doors might be open. After the appropriate doors on the meter are opened, press the prime button on the display on the right hand side and seed will be delivered down to the delivery hoses, assuring that seed is readily available during our calibration. If seed is not traveling down to delivery hoses, check for plugs or check that seed is actually available at the meter and the doors are open to their proper level. Step three of the calibration wizard is the meter cal RPM. This speed setting is the speed at which the motor will turn during this calibration. The operator enters this number in and is typically set around 50 RPMs. For low rate crops such as Milo or Canola, enter 20 RPMs. The range of RPMs in this calibration could be set between 15 and 115 RPMs. Note, once the typical RPM is found for a crop type or seed size, the calibration should be performed again using a meter RPM closer to the typical RPM during normal operation. Step four of the calibration wizard is setting up and getting ready for the product collection step. Several steps are needed here to, be, to get an accurate calibration. First, we should weigh each of the collection bags prior to collecting seed. Second, disconnect either the primary hose from the Y splitter or both secondary hoses or adjust the Y splitter so that all the product from one meter section or primary run is directed into the collection bag like seen here in our example. All of the product from both hoses or one primary must be collected into one bag at one time. Across the drill we would place this bag at individual rows. Prior to our priming step we had open doors. Placing a bag at each one of those locations will assure an accurate calibration. After the hose has been removed, place the hose into the collection bag and place the bag in a secure location on the drill. Note, be careful not to seal over the end of the hose or plugging may occur or, or no flow of seed. Again, make sure that the bag is empty prior to any calibration steps. 
Step five of the calibration wizard is actually collecting the product. There are two methods of collecting product, depending on the drill configuration. If the drill does not have a calibration switch, we would use the driving calibration, where the operator, once at this step, would drive above three miles per hour, and the meter would begin to turn at the RPM set in, in earlier steps. The second of the two calibration options is a calibration switch. This kit is available from your Case IH dealer. It includes a switch and shields that cover the rear drive components around the metering rollers. If a calibration switch is installed on the drill, assure that the shields are installed, then press and hold the switch, and the meters will begin to turn and product will be metered. On the display, targets will begin to be counted. The target window and the number within that window is not as important as understanding how much product is being placed into the collection bag. We recommend two to three pounds minimum in each collection bag. However, this amount may be lower in some lighter crops such as Milo and Canola. Step six of the Calibration Wizard is weighing the product. Collect the bags from all the collection points and weigh each of the bags individually. If the weights of the containers or bags and contents vary significantly, empty the containers and perform the calibration again. The operator can add all of the product weights together and enter that total weight in the display, or dump all of the contents together and weigh the entire sample. Once the sample is weighed, enter that number in tenths of pounds in the display. Note, make sure you've calculated in tenths of a pound, not ounces. The seventh step of the calibration wizard is entering the number of Y splitters or primary runs that we collected product from. In this case, in our example, we collected from four primary runs. So we would enter four in this case. After pressing the next button, the operator will see that the calibration has been completed. Pressing the button in the top right hand corner of the display or the back arrow will take them to the screen that will show the calibration number. Record this number in a safe place and repeat the calibration and compare those values. The values should be similar. If they vary greatly, continue to repeat the calibration until a constant calibration number is achieved. Once a consistent calibration number has been found, this number can be recorded if there is a chance that the seed size, the crop type, the meter roller type, and meter drive ratio combination will be used again. Also note, if more than one drill is calibrated, this calibration number for this particular drill is only valid for the configuration of the drill this calibration was performed on. Do not reuse this calibration number on differing drill configurations. Example, if this calibration was performed on a 30 foot 7.5 inch drill, this calibration is not valid for a 40 foot 7.5 inch drill. The calibration should be rerun for each of the drill configurations. This concludes the calibration process for the Precision Disc Drill 500T seed metering system. For more information, see the productivity guide available at caseih.com or from your local dealer. We hope you found this informational. Case IH is striving to help customers be ready for this next seeding season and into the future. Thank you.